Hello and welcome back for a new lesson. In this video, we will have a look on the inrush current in the world of electronics. Inrush current is the big surge current that is drawn from the power supply when the load is switched on. For the time being, you may ask these two questions. What is causing this inrush current and why should I care about it? Inrush current is caused in general by capacitors, motors, and transformers. Depending on its value and on your application, inrush current can be harmful for the upstream circuitry, PCB tracks, and even electrical wires when going beyond the limits. It can also generate wrong error diagnostic if it is confused by your protection system with a short circuit. There are two big families of components in electronics, the active components and the passive components. In the passive components family, we find the resistors, the capacitors, and the inductors. The inductors and capacitors have the ability of storing energy, which results in a high surge current when you first apply a voltage to a circuit containing those components. In this video, we'll cover only the capacitors as they are always used in the most of electronic systems and circuit boards. In a capacitor, the inrush current depends on value of the capacitance, the input voltage, and the time of change of input voltage from zero volts to the, the final value. This time is called slew rate or the rise time. When you initially apply voltage to a circuit containing a capacitor, there's effectively no charge stored in the capacitor. Therefore, the initial current flowing into the capacitor can be very high because there's no opposition to the voltage change. For example, you have four capacitors in your circuit and you have an input voltage with a slew rate of two microseconds per volt. This means a total rise up time of 24 microseconds to jump from zero volt to 12 volts. When those parameters are known, it is very easy to calculate your inrush current. In this case, the inrush current is 12.4 amperes. As you can see in this circuit, I added a resistor to simulate an electrical load of 20 ohms that is consuming a current of 0.58 amperes. This is represented by the steady state current. The peak current in this case is the total of the inrush current and the steady state current. Now, you have done some analysis and calculations to check your circuit, and you realize that the inrush current should not exceed 6A to stay within the limit of your PCB tracks and that input diode. When you look a second time at the equation of inrush current, you can increase the rise up time to reduce inrush current. Let's figure this out on LT SPICE simulation. Here I will change my rise up time to a total of 60 microseconds. As you can see, the peak current has been reduced from 13 amperes to 5.5 amperes approximately. All right. Now, we already discovered the first method to reduce inrush current. You can also take a second look at your capacitors and check if you really need those values. Reducing the total capacitance results in a reduction of inrush current. There is also another way which consists of adding a PTC in series with the voltage generator. When a high current goes through it, its temperature will increase and its resistance will increase as a consequence, resulting in a reduction of inrush current. When the inrush current sequence is finished, the PTC cools down, its resistance gets back to the nominal value, and the steady state current continues flowing to the load safely. If you are using a voltage regulator IC nowadays, the most of those regulators have a feature that allows you to control the rise time of the output voltage. This function is called soft start. By calculating the value of a very small capacitor that you place at that specific soft start pin, you can adjust by hardware the rise time, resulting in good control of the inrush current at that level. According to the data sheet of this regulator, there is already a soft start time of 380 microseconds by default. But if we want to increase it, we need to place a capacitor at the pin SS following that equation. In this example, we can manage the inrush current caused by that output capacitor of 2.2 microfarads. Let's calculate a soft start capacitor for 1000 use and run an LT SPICE simulation to see the difference. 
As you can see, increasing the soft start time from 380 microseconds to 1 millisecond reduced the inrush current from 76 milliamps to only 17.2 milliamps on the output capacitor. Let's recap. Inrush current is caused by circuits using capacitors and inductors. Inrush current can be harmful for upstream circuits, PCB tracks, and electrical wires. It might trigger internal protections of some IC drivers or regulators. Inrush current is proportional to the rise time of the voltage. The voltage itself and the capacitance inrush current can be reduced by increasing the rise up time by the use of current limiting components such as PTC or even more specific circuits from the market. And more than everything, inrush current must be considered for the sizing upstream components, tracks, and wires. If you love this lesson, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see my other videos. See you soon!